How's it going everyone? Pop-Tart here. Welcome back to the Our Team channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build the Bombardier CRJ-900 in 1 to 1 scale. As with most of our 1 to 1 aircraft at this point, this is yet another masterpiece by Aero Team member Mind, who is also responsible for basically every 1 to 1 aircraft on the channel at this point, bar the Cirrus Vision, but yeah. So yes, this is in 1 to 1 scale, meaning that 1 meter is equivalent to 1 block exactly. So if you are building an airport project in that scale or whatever, this will be perfectly to scale with all of our other 1 to 1 airliners. So before we get going on the tutorial, there's just one last thing to mention. This build does make use of our custom Aero Team texture pack for things such as 3D models and custom slab and stair colors. A download link to this pack for Minecraft 1.13 can be found in the description below if you don't have it already. But if you're stuck using the default texture pack or some other pack for whatever reason, I'll show you workarounds you can use for the default pack. This build will still work perfectly fine in default, but I highly recommend using the Aero Team pack instead. It'll look much better. So, with that all out of the way, let's get going on the tutorial. So, first things first, here's some dimensions for you. This aircraft is 36 blocks alone, 25 blocks across, and 8 blocks tall. So just make sure that you have enough room for that as you are figuring out where you want to put this. As for our materials here, in the Aero Team pack we are using the wool block coupled with purpose stairs and slabs for this distinct wool coloration. In default, you can use quartz or uh, smooth quartz as an alternative, but using wool here in the Aero Team pack allows us to give the aircraft a much smoother and shiny appearance, as well as using quartz for accent details such as doors and all that. For the purposes of this tutorial, I will be referring to these as the wool stairs and slabs. Again, these are the purple blocks, but uh, in default, just swap those out for the quartz if you do have to use that. And with that all out of the way, we can get going on layer one. So for layer 1, if you are building this on the ground as I am here, you'll be starting with a 1 block gap between uh, layer 1 here and the ground, like this. So this is the level that you should be building on right here. Again, that's a 1 block space. If you're building this in flight in the air though, you don't have to worry about that, you can just start wherever you want. So, the first thing we're going to be doing here is actually not a block of wool. Uh, we're going to be first placing uh, 7 uh, layers of snow floating in the air. So this, uh, this is going to be a bit tricky. What we're going to do here is place a temporary block right there. Then grab a snow layer, place seven of these on the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Grab a stick and type slash REPL0 to switch this over to the replace tool. Select that by left clicking and paste it over that wool block right there by right clicking on it like so. This will give it just the tiniest little bit of a slope for the um, pointy nose of the CRJ series. If you are in vanilla Minecraft and don't have access to World Edit, first of all, what are you doing? World Edit is a lifesaver. But uh, if you don't have access to World Edit, just use a full block in its place right there. The slope will be a little bit off, but it should still be fine. But since we do have access to that here, uh, we are taking advantage of that ability. So we've got that seven uh, snow layer right there. After this here, we're going to be placing eight wool blocks going back. So we have one here already from where we started that. Then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. We'll leave it at that for now. Now before we move on with the fuselage here, let's put in some detailing up at the front. So grab your stone buttons. On the first and second wool blocks right here, we've got two stone buttons out to the side, just like this. Next, uh, skipping the first four blocks, including that snow layer, not just the wool. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, and on, uh, on the fifth block here, starting here, we're going to put in two stone buttons going back just like this, sideways, not um, perpendicular with the aircraft like this, but uh, just like this on the underside. Next, skip this next block and place a lever right there, flipped facing backwards just like this. This will be for an airfoil extension on the underside of the aircraft here. Next, grab your quartz, place a quartz full block back from this. This is for the first cargo door on the underside of the aircraft right here. Then one and two more wool going back with a button underneath the first wool block, just as we did before, like this. And then a second quartz full block right there. Now, uh, one thing to mention, if you are in default and using quartz for the uh, aircraft itself here, you can use uh, cobblestone like this for uh, detailing of these doors and all that. But in the Aero Team pack here, since we are building this out of wool and we have the option to use quartz, we do like to use that instead, like this. That is a workaround you can use for default if you want. So, once you have that, come back up to the front here, where we have these two stone buttons. 
Step the next block here and place a dwarf's top slab out to either side, or again, cobblestone in default. This will be the start of your four doors right here on the side of the aircraft. Next we've got eight top slabs going back from this with your wool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Should line up right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Just like this. Then a block of wool going back from that quartz there, and then a wool upside down stair out to both sides, just like that. So now to uh, kind of block off the wing box on the aircraft here, what we're going to do is place three rows of wool going back. One, two, and three. And square that off here. And we've got a uh, little bit of an extension on the underside here going down half a layer. So grab a birch trapdoor here. And why do I have a second purple slab there? <laughs> Get rid of that. So uh, underneath this wool block right there, that first one in the center, place a birch trapdoor right there with a wool top slab back from it and a birch trapdoor out to either side, just like that. And then one, two, and three wool top slabs back from this and score that off. Perfect. Now if you aren't in default, um, this perch trapdoor might look a little bit weird. You can use an iron trapdoor instead as an alternative if you'd like, but uh, here in the Aero Team pack this birch trapdoor is a wool texture to blend in smoothly just like this. Anyways, once we have that, what we're going to do is take quartz once again, place a full block back on either side of those, just like that, with a wool in the center. Next, grab a quartz stair, place an upside-down quartz stair back from these, facing towards the center, just like that, with a gold ore in the center right here, like this. This is the detailing for the uh, inside of the wheel wells right here, so this uh, gold texture here is a nice dark texture for that. Now, uh, in default, the gold ore isn't going to look like this at all, and it's going to be weird. Maybe use a black wool or something like that on the inside here, but uh, yeah, in the Aero Team pack here, this is what we're using. It's a much more detailed texture. Also worth mentioning that these two quartz blocks here are the start of our overwing exits here for the next layer, but we'll be worrying about that later. Let's move back from this, drop a wool top slab underneath that gold ore right there, and a nether brick top slab out to either side. On the CRJ series, when the wheels fold up into the aircraft, uh, they actually aren't covered by the gear doors, so they are visible from the underside, and that's what this nether brick top slab is to represent. That's the uh, wheel folded up into the uh, underside of the aircraft right there. Anyways, once we have that, what we're going to do here is place two top slabs back from this with our wool, and then one more right there in the center going back, just like that. That's with your wool, you've got four blocks going back from uh, this uh, next layer up right here. One, two, three, and four. Just like this, and score that off. Then uh, two more wool going back right here, with two wool top slabs out to either side. Next thing we're going to do here is a little bit tricky, so grab a stripped oak log here in the Aerotame pack. This is a um, half wool, half nether brick texture. This is for a uh, little detail here on the aft uh, cargo door right here. The door itself is outlined, of course, but then you've got this kind of uh, black stripe underneath it, as uh, in the real aircraft, so that's what that's emulating there. So, uh, yeah, if you are in default, probably just use a normal wool instead. But since we do have the option to replicate that detail in the air team pack, that is what we choose to do. So, uh, yeah, again, that's the stripped oak log for this texture. And just one more thing we're going to put in here, hop onto the underside again, and grab a lever. Kind of on this uh, first block right there in the center, place a lever right there. Make sure it's fa uh, flipped facing backwards like this. This is for, yet again, another airfoil extension, just like that. But once you have that, to move back from this now, grab your top slabs again, place four going back from that stripped out log right there. One, two, three, and four. With two birch trapdoors out to either side for the straights at the rear of the aircraft right here. Once you have that though, that is everything for layers 1 and 2. Alright, so to get going on layer 3 here, come down to this first wool block right there where we have the buttons coming up, place three snow layers on top of this right here, 1, 2, and 3. This will uh, kind of steepen the uh, angle of the nose right here as you can see. Then a half slab back from this with a wool stair facing forwards after it, just like that. Next we have a... Uh, block of quartz back from this right here with a quartz half slab out to either side right there. That'll finish off these two forward doors. And then just a block back from both of these slabs just like that. 
Next to put in the windows here, grab your stairs, place 10 wool stairs facing backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then a block back from both of those right there. Next, take a quartz stair right here. We've got a quartz stair facing forwards and then a quartz stair facing backwards right there. Forwards and backwards. And that'll finish off the overwing exits uh, right there. Next, we've got five stairs going backwards from both of these right here with your wool. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. Just like that. Finish this off here by placing a block of wool back from both of these uh, stairs right there. And then only on the left side here, a quartz full block for the uh, aft cargo door right here. And then just a wool on the other, other side, just like that. Two blocks back from both of these now. Join it up right there in the center. And then one, two, three, and four blocks going back right here. Let's take an acacia button on the underside right here. We're going to place an acacia button facing sideways, uh, perpendicular with the fuselage right here. And then an acacia button out to the sides, just like that. Uh, in the aero team pack, these acacia buttons are a black texture, which matches the uh, color of the detail on the real aircraft that this is replicating here. In default, though, again, just use stone. That's what we're going to do. To finish off this layer, just grab your cobblestone, place a cobblestone full block back from that uh, last wall right there to finish off the CRJ900's APU. And with that, that is everything for layer 3. Alright, so let's cap this off and call the fuselage done. For layer 4 here, what we're going to do is uh, first place a... Well, let's see. First what we're going to do is place a slab right there on top of that uh, stair right there facing forwards. Next, we somehow have to get two snow layers on top of that uh, half slab. So we're just going to basically do the same thing that we did up at the nose there. Temporary block on top, two snow layers right there on the ground. Grab a stick, slash REPL0 to switch that over to the replace tool. Select by left clicking and paste it over the temporary block just like that. And that will finish off the shaping for the cockpit right there. If you are stuck without world edit and can't use that trick, uh, you can use a uh, an iron trapdoor as an alternative here um, in default, or the can birch trapdoor in the air team pack, um, to give a bit of a suggestion of the uh, curvature of the nose here. Uh, the iron trapdoor here, as you can see, is uh, 1.5 snow layers, so it's right between 1 and 2, just like this. So an iron trapdoor will be close enough if you want to use that instead. But again, uh, what we're going to be using here in the Aerotame pack is that double snow layer, since we do have the option to use that. That's everything for the snow, though. So now going back from the slab here, not including it, uh, we're going to be placing 26 more slabs going back. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Just like that. Let's grab a uh, carpet right here, white carpet that is, and now uh, skipping the first three slabs right here, one, two, and three, we're going to be placing 20 carpets going back here to cover off all of these windows. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Should stop right there on top of that uh, aft cargo door right there. Again, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Just like that. And that is everything for layer 4, and you are done with the fuselage of the CRJ900. So for the vertical stabilizer here, what we're going to do is come right to the back, on top of this uh, last wool block here, not the cobblestone, but the wool block, place uh, two blocks going forwards, and then the next two uh, half slabs here turn into full blocks, just like this. So you have four blocks in total. Next thing we're going to do here is grab a birch trapdoor. Drop that right there on top of that uh, first wall block right there. With a stone block back from it and three wall blocks. One, two, and three. Next, a stone block right there on top of that first wall block. Uh, two more wool going back right here and a top slab right there. Stone button out to either side of that first wall block that we placed, just like that. Next, starting on top of that first wall block right there, one, two, and three blocks going back with a top slab back from it, just like this. And then to finish off the top uh, curvature right here, bridge trapdoor right there on the first block, one, two, and three snow layers, one, two, and three, and a trapdoor right there. And that'll finish off the vertical stabilizer. 
Now to finish off the detail of the aircraft here and put in the horizontal stabilizers, what we're going to do here is come to this uh, second wool block right there and place a cobblestone top slab out to the side just like that. Next, two top slabs out at an angle right here and then one going back at an angle just like that. Then for the elevator detailing on the trailing edge of the uh, horizontal stabilizer here, grab your stone brick st uh, slabs, place one and two going towards the center right there, and then one and two more towards the center just like that, and then fill it in with your stone top slabs. And that'll finish off the horizontal stabilizer there. So just the same thing on the other side here. Cobblestone top slab out right there, one and two out at an angle, then one back right there. Two stone brick slabs towards the center, and two more in at an angle, and fill it in with your stone slabs. And that'll be it for the horizontal stabilizers. Next, what we're going to be doing is putting in the wings of the CRJ900. So come down to the uh, wing bots here, where we have this first uh, wool top slab after this trapdoor right there. Grab your spruce trapdoors and place two of these out to the side right here, one and two, just like that. Or again, in default, just use a uh, an iron trapdoor. Then grab your cobblestone slabs and place two of these on top of those spruce trapdoors, like that. Let's come out here and place another two cobblestone slabs out at an angle, this time without uh, spruce trapdoors underneath. And then just one cobblestone slab out at an angle right here. Next out at an angle right here, place a cobblestone top slab this time, going up a, a layer. Uh, two of these out right here. Then two more top slabs out to the side right here. And then grab a brick slab for the nav light here and place this going back at an angle just like that for the uh, nav light. Going back from this now, grab your smooth stone slabs, place one, two, and... or just two of those towards the center, actually. Then a stone brick slab right there, coming towards the center. This is to start the uh, flap and aileron detailing on the trailing edge of the wing right here. Come towards the center at an angle, uh, forwards this time, one and two stone brick slabs, like this. Then down at an angle, we've got a half slab right there. Come towards the center again, one and two. And then two dark oak trapdoors right there towards the center, just like that. Again, in the arrow team pack, the dark oak trapdoor is a stone brick texture to blend in with the uh, stone brick detailing, but in default, again, just to use the iron trapdoor. Once we have that though, that is the outline of the wing done, so next we can start work on the wing layering. Normally in our larger aircraft, connecting up all of the different separate uh, layers for the wing is quite an affair, but here this is a very small wing, so what we're going to be doing is just first finding these uh, two cobblestone slabs right here up at an angle, come in towards the center with a stone slab right there, and then back at an angle right there. And that's the first layer done. Next, um, actually, let's grab a birch button and place a birch button right there on top of that first uh, stone birch slab right there, or stone slab that is rather. That's just a little detail on top of the wing right there. And for this last layer here, uh, to finish off the overwing exits, drop a wool half slab out from that uh, first quartz block right there, and then a birch trapdoor back from it just like that, with a stone slab out to the side to finish off the layer outline. That's what we're just going to do, is fill all of this in, so every outline that we have here is just going to get filled in with the stone slabs, just like this. And that'll finish off the layering for the top of the wing. So moving on down to finish off the underside, first we're going to grab an iron trapdoor, hop underneath the wing right here, and back from these two spruce uh, trapdoors right there where we had the slat detailing coming across, place two iron trapdoors back from that, just like that, to finish off the first layer of the wing. Then for the next layer out right here, come to this uh, single cobblestone slab right there, and just place two stone slabs back from it, just like that, to finish off that layer of the wing. And that is the wing of the CRJ900 complete. So just mirror this on over to the other side of the aircraft, and we will worry about uh, switching the nav light over after that's done. And this is what your finished wing should look like copied on over to the other side of the aircraft. So as I mentioned, we actually are going to be changing the nav light here. So on the right side of the aircraft, the nav light is green, as opposed to the red light on the left side. So, what we're going to be doing here is knocking out that brick slab right there. And now since this is the top slab, what we're going to be using here is a light weighted pressure plate uh, for the uh, light green top slab model. For this, what we're going to do is uh, place this down here, 
grab a stick, type slash REPL0 to switch this over to the replace tool. Select that by left clicking and uh, get rid of that. Drop a temporary block right there and paste it over by right clicking just like that. And that'll give you this nice uh, light green top slab model for the nav light on the right side of the aircraft. If you don't have world edit but do have the air team pack, another option is to use the prismarine brick slab and as a um, darker green slab model like this. Or uh, even if you are in default and don't have the air team pack to get a nice slab model like that, uh, you can just use a stone slab with a lime carpet on top like this. And then instead of a brick slab over here on the other side of the aircraft, a slab right there with a red carpet on top. But these uh, in the air team pack, this um, brick slab and lime, uh, lightweighted pressure plate model is a much more accurate uh, model for the nav lights of the aircraft. Anyways, once you have that, that is it for the wings. So next we're going to be putting in the winglets. So for the winglets of the CRJ900 here, uh, first things first, unlike our previous E145 where the winglets were an optional addition, the winglets of the CRJ aren't exactly optional. They're uh, and the feature of every aircraft, so just keep that in mind as you're building here. But uh, yeah, so to put these in, what we're going to do is come down to this uh, stone slab right here, the very last one. Place a birch trap door out to the side right here, with a wool stair on top facing forwards, upside down wool stair back front that facing backwards, and a birch trap door on top to finish off the winglet. And we'll just be doing the same thing on the other side here. So, birch trap door there. Wool stair facing forwards, upside down stair backwards, and a wool, uh, or not a wool, a birch trap door on top. Just like that. And that is everything for the wings of the CRJ900. So the last thing we're going to be doing for the exterior of the CRJ here is putting in our two General Electric CF-34 engines. So like uh, most smaller regional aircraft, the engines of the CRJ900 are uh, uh, fuselage mounted, meaning that they're mounted on the rear of the fuselage instead of underneath the wings, as is most commonly seen. So we'll be coming to the rear of the aircraft here, where we have these, uh, this last wool block of the outermost layer right here. Drop a birch trapdoor on the top half of that block coming out right there. That'll finish off the uh, engine pylon. Let's grab a spruce trapdoor, place a uh, top trapdoor right there out from it, and then a trapdoor on top of that, just like that. This is for the exhaust cone of the uh, engine. We'll be working our way from back to front for this. Then grab a stone slab, place a top slab out from that with a half slab on top, just like this. Then two wool slabs going forwards. Next, grab your snow layers and place five snow layers on top of this right here. One, two, three, four, and five. And same thing here. One, two, three, four, and five. And that is it for the engine. It's very small. So we'll just be doing the same thing on the other side here. Perch trapdoor back from that wool block there. Uh, spruce trapdoor at the side. Trapdoor on top. Two stone slabs right there two wool slabs forwards from that, and then one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five snow layers, just like that. And that's it for the engines. So with that, that is the in-flight CRJ900 complete. There aren't really any other configurations to worry about for this aircraft, and it's so small that we don't even have a room for an interior like we usually do with our aircraft. So there's only one thing left for this aircraft, and that is the landing gear. If you're building this in flight with the landing gear retracted, you're done with this tutorial, and you can skip right on ahead to the end of the video. Otherwise, if you're building this on the ground, as I am here, next up we will be adding in the landing gear. So the landing gear of the CRJ is incredibly easy to put in. Since it is on a uh, full block layer right here, we don't have to worry about uh, world edit or armor stands or any of that like we did with the E145. So the landing gear at the nose of the aircraft here uses a player skull model for it to be slightly smaller than a block space. Uh, for a little smaller uh, wheel model. Here on the Air Team server, this is the uh, player stole that we like to use for it. It's a uh, very nice wheel texture. I have no idea where we got it, but we've had it for like a year and a half. So uh, I unfortunately can't link you to any uh, special command to give it to yourself or anything. But if you do stumble across a uh, nice wheel texture player stole anywhere, I would recommend that you use this for the wheels of your uh, CRJ here. Otherwise, if you can't find anything, uh, I would recommend just using a Wither Skeleton Skull in uh, vanilla as well, especially if you can't give a player skull to yourself. But uh, yeah, the Wither Skeleton Skull is a 
a uh, nice black model like this so it will give you a nicer uh, tire texture but it still won't have this nice rimming pattern that the uh, actual wheel skull model does. Anyways, with that uh, rant out of the way, once you've figured out what you're using for this uh, wheel, <laughs> nose wheel here, uh, what we're going to be doing here is coming down to this third block of the first layer right here, where we have this second back uh, pitot tube right here. And then just place your player skull facing uh, backwards just like that, or again, a with a skeleton skull in default. And to finish off the nose gear, we've just got a quartz top slab forwards from this right there for the uh, gear door coming forwards from that. And that is everything for the nose gear. So last but not least, we have the main landed gear to put in. Just hop underneath the wing here, and where we have this nether brick top slab that I had you put in in the very first layer for the um, exposed wheel on the underside of the fuselage. Knock that out, place a black wool out to the side right here from that. And then just place a stone button out to either side of that black wool for the wheel. And we'll be doing the same thing on the other side here. So, knock that out. Nope, not uh, that one. Knock out that nether brick top slab there. Black wool out from that. That's a trapdoor. I'm stupid. There we go. Black wool underneath that. Stone button out to both sides. And that will do it for your main landing gear. We don't have any extra struts or gear doors or anything else to put in. So, that is everything for the landing gear. So, congratulations on completing this aircraft. We hope that you enjoyed building it, and we hope that you enjoy having it in your Minecraft world. Thank you so much for choosing an air team design. Hundreds of hours of work from all of us here at the air team go into all of our aircraft to make these designs possible. And on that note, we do ask that if you use our designs, then please do give us credit for our hard work. Feel free to build this on a server, or any airport project you intend to publish or share in any way. You're most welcome to use our designs, that's why we publish them. But if you do do so, you must give credit to the Aero team. This can be accomplished as easily as a sign anywhere around the build saying, designed by the Aero team. And if you share this anywhere on social media, just give us credit equally. That's all that we ask. And if you have built this aircraft, let us know. We'd love to see how you're using our designs. So, with that all out of the way, that concludes this tutorial. Again, thank you so much for building this aircraft. If you enjoyed, you can check out our other tutorials via the playlist in the description below. If you like this, you might find something else from us that you'd like too. And if you do find that to be the case, then please do consider subscribing to the Air Team channel to be the first to see our new aircraft when they come out. That's just about it though, so thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.